we come to that point in our order of worship where we come before the Lord in prayer. This is an opportunity that we have to lift up our joys, our concerns, our thanksgivings. As we come together in prayer this morning, let's continue to keep Nancy Kilgore's sisters in our prayers. Also, Rosa Hamrick wants us to continue to keep uh, her nephew Dick in our prayers. Jim Cooper is still in uh, rehab at Heritage Hall, so let's keep him in our prayers. Uh, continue to pray for Betty Fleener's brother. Kat McClanahan wants us to continue to remember her dad, Jerry Swanson. Also, uh, continue to remember my stepdad, Herbert Mills, as they still are trying to figure out exactly what his uh, problems are. So he's got two more doctor's appointments this week, and hopefully by Friday we may know some answers. Also, uh, if you haven't heard, uh, Nancy Mercer is now living up at the Laurels, so please keep uh, her in your prayers. And I think that there might be somebody in the choir that has something they'd like to share this week. Who would that be? <laughs> we want to announce the birth of Adler Case Spurlock, 8 pounds 14 ounces. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Adler Cade. He was born the 26th, I think, wasn't he? Yeah. So keep him in your prayers. Eight pounds, 14 ounces, and I think you said 21 inches long. Yeah. He's a big boy. I think that's how big David was when he was born, actually. So, uh, so uh, what other joys, concerns, thanksgivings do we have this morning? Christy? and also a couple of praises. So, um, prayer concern is I have um, some sorority sisters who are facing some difficult times right now, so if you could just keep the sisters of Phi Sigma Sigma in your prayers. Um, there's various ones with various needs. Also, a um, couple of praises. Uh, one, we made it to and back from resurrection all in one piece and with everybody intact, uh, albeit a little bit more tired. But rejuvenated. Um, we had a great session, and y'all will hear more about that in a couple of weeks when we have Youth Sunday and, and talk about it. And also, um, I have another praise. We had a really great lock in this weekend. Um, those of us that were there are still kind of dragging and trying to recover from it, but we had 13 uh, students there and, and uh, three chaperones and had a really good time. More kids stayed awake all night this time, so we, we played games. We played our life size Bibleopoly game. Um, which was very interesting and, and exciting and uh, played some other games and had a really great time. So thanks to everybody for your support on those events. And Andrew? I got a praise. Uh, me and Martha beat Kenny and Daniel and some Rook. <laughs> Only this year. Okay, okay. Anything else? <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd like to ask the church to pray for a high school friend of mine, uh, same graduating class as myself. They live in Pennsylvania right now. He went to the emergency room with what he thought was a bug bite on his arm, and they discovered that it was actually a clot. So they did um, a CT scan and found an, a postcard-sized mass in his chest. Uh, with further testing, they diagnosed him with lymphoma, and he started his chemo treatments Friday. So if I could just get everybody to please remember him in your prayers. His name is Kendrell Marshall. Kendrell? Kendrell Marshall. Okay. Okay. What else? Debbie? Triplet, um, we've been praying for them for a while. Well, um, Ron, they discovered two more brain tumors and a lung tumor. They removed, it, they removed the two brain tumors this week, and he's doing very, very well from that. So we praise God for that. And he, uh, he still has the lung tumor, and because he's had part of his lung removed before with a tumor, they're not quite sure what they're going to do with the, the lung tumor. So if you could please um, keep them in your prayers. And then also, I'd like to, on behalf of David, thank everybody who came out for a vacation Bible school meeting yesterday and helped paint and, and cut out and 
do some preliminary stuff we needed to do for Vacation Bible School. So thank you so much. We appreciate it. And your friend Hortense. Oh, yes. And we had been praying for Hortense, and she passed away this past week. So if we could keep, please keep her family in your prayers. What else? Well, let's go before the Lord in prayer. <clears throat> most gracious and most holy God, we just come into your presence so thankful for the many ways in which we have experienced you in our lives, for the love that you've shown us, for the guidance that you've given us, for the healing that you have brought into our, our lives. We just are grateful that you are a God that is so concerned about us. We thank you for uh, the safe travels of our youth last weekend and for the, the things that they were able to uh, learn and experience and ask that you would take the seeds that ha were planted in their lives and nurture them so that they might indeed one day uh, come to, to full fruit and, and bear a great bounteous crop in their lives. May they be transformed and may they be changed by the activities of, of that event. Help us to know the power and presence of your spirit in our lives, O oh Lord. Help us to look for those opportunities when the spirit might be moving and help us to get in line with that movement. Help us to know that every time we hear that still small voice and respond to it, that that's a step of faith that's going to make our lives better. That that is a step of faith that might change the life of someone else because of our obedience to you. And so we ask that you would indeed just open our spiritual eyes, open our spiritual ears, that we might see and might hear you moving in our midst as a church, in our lives as individuals, in the places that we work, in the community in which we live. Pour your spirit out upon us, Lord, and use us as only you can do to, to make a difference in the lives of the people around us as we share the good news of Jesus Christ. We thank you for each concern that we have had a chance to lift up today. Move in those situations. Touch and heal and guide and love and let us be uh, your arms. Let us be your uh, voices of comfort if necessary as we seek to serve you. For it's in the name of Christ that we ask these things and pray the prayer that he has taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.